the Don the Don chapter 172 titled those pygmies are scary now first of all I'm late as fuck okay. chapter dropped Monday it's now Sunday 173 drops tomorrow I'll probably be late on that again the way it's look unless things go well I could be able to get it out tomorrow for 173 but the way it's looking I might have to push down the down instead of dropping the reviews on Mondays when the chapter drops it's looking like for November at least I'll have to be dropping the chapters on Fridays or the weekends I would have dropped it on Friday but I've been ill so let's get into it before anything I'm going to say immediately my theory was wrong the closet man the closet entity the whole closet theory i've had since we first got introduced to yuki and the man in the closet is wrong all right so we begin where we left off last chapter with ira's hair on fire by the way remember ira has been introduced into the anime so the anime is making leaps and bounds and i really enjoy the anime says the point so her hair is on fire and momo tells her to just cut it you know uh well it's called okaru and helps cutting her hair you know and that we are fighting against the pygmies as they're launching knives okaru is being protected by momo and aira as they use their powers to shield him because at this point he's basically useless and another side tangent about the anime in the anime we saw okaru get his powers from turbo granny for, for the first time like completely he has the powers and turbo granny isn't involved but I'm not sure where we're gonna go because I don't feel as if our the author is gonna take away Okarun's powers. So I wanna see how it develops. I still hope him yielding comes back in some way that he may get his powers back. And it's taken away, then we have to fight Turbo Granny part two or three. We fight Turbo Granny when she's evil and against us. You know. Momo mentions there is a million pygmies and like they're climbing up Okarun's feet. He starts taking off his clothes, he's fanning. His clothes are knitted into place. And Momo like, yo, why are you even doing that? And Ira does the same exact shit. And even Ira's clothes are stitched together. You know, we still see knives have been said. Momo is still the one who's able to see the pygmies. We keep going as Okarun's clothes are and Ira's clothes are stitched even more and more to the ground and then what's it called Momo brings up that the Yuki the girl controlling the pygmies is somewhere in the room hiding so we look around Momo looks around Okaru starts stripping Ira starts stripping Momo starts to keep moving around they move around you know we see Okaru and like Ira's dodging stuff. We see Okaru also just dodge stuff when Momo gives him instructions about 12 o'clock. He dodges them with max efficiency. We have a cool panel here of him jumping beside Ira. And both Ira and Momo are like the, the high key wrist up by this nigga. And we keep going. Okaru's hand is stitched same with Ira's hand. And like they're about to be attacked. And then Momo clocks exactly what's going to happen. I think my so, manga plus is about the last two pages haven't loaded but we basically like no much else happens in the chapter after this point you know when we just discovers where Yuki is over there Momo realizes she closes her eyes and then she realizes that Yuki is behind her and it is like the pygmies are not attacking because Yuki is right behind them and then Momo gets a table to be sent directly towards Yuki Yuki is hit end of chapter I'm upset my theory was wrong I was really 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 confident my theory about the whole closet man the man you know he's able to pull her in and out she's able to watch from like a pocket dimension I was so confident that was right the fact it's wrong makes me very sad i can't lie to you it makes me very very sad but you know can't be too mad you know sometimes you get theories right theories wrong um honestly that theory being wrong i don't know where i'm gonna go next you know 
I guess Yuki will be apprehended and they'll ask her why she was looking for Momo. Maybe she'll tell her, give us more info about the man in the closet, about the small knives her and Saint Germain had, and more about like the whole yielding thing and its importance of it. Or maybe she'll find out to escape. Maybe the man in the closet will finally come out and help her and we get to see who the main villain for this arc is. But anyway, that was Dundalan chapter 172. I'll catch you all, if everything goes well, tomorrow for 173. If not, next weekend for 173. I'll see you all next time. Peace.